Controversial traffic stop involving Monroe County District Attorney Sandra Dorley, who failed to pull over when she was caught speeding. 13 Wham Stephen Pappas is back from a town hall meeting as community members continue pushing for answers. Stephen, good evening. Good Community members and elected officials meeting in downtown Rochester to speak out on Sandra Dorley's controversial encounter with police. No one is above the law. Words said in Monroe County District Attorney Sandra Dorley's apology video this week that are being echoed by community members in Rochester. You showed us that uh, the blue line that they all so adamantly and vehemently speak of um, and that they execute their power under isn't real when it comes to them. Some people are calling for the DA to either step down or be fired. Others say the multiple investigations and apologies are not enough. I want to watch her go through the same thing. She has to be held to the same standard. But chairman of the Rochester City Republican Committee, Marcus C. Williams, feels fellow Republican Dorley deserves a second chance, that same second chance that he says she's given to others as her time as DA. The most important thing is, is how we move forward from here and how we make sure that this is acknowledged as a situation that needs not happen again. Community activist Ashante Curry also says that she doesn't feel the officer involved in that traffic stop is being backed properly by his peers. I want them to actually stand behind their officer and his uh, the situation that took place and support him and the decision to put the tickets on her. Some, including Williams, feel that Dorley is still fit for the job, but are pushing for more transparency. I hope those next steps are, are more activity from the district attorney in the community, talking about the issues that actually go into being a district attorney and showing the people the reason why the district attorney is an important position. Dorley is now the subject of at least three different investigations. She has continued to deny our requests for an interview. Matt.